everyone, it's Mona here in the craft room and I have another really easy Halloween craft for you. And it's pumpkin related, but it's not an actual pumpkin. So let's get started. I have some um, glass ornaments that were left over from crafting last year and I'm going to turn it into a pumpkin. I have some orange acrylic paint and it's actually pumpkin is the color. And I'm just going to squirt some right in there and then I'm going to just roll it around so all the paint begins to cover the ornament and we wanted a nice solid orange. Once you have it well covered then all you need to do is put it upside down into over a disposable cup and then any excess will run out and then you'll have a nice layer within the, the ball. So we will do that and we'll let it dry and then we'll come back. Now I'm going to show you a second version of the same type of a thing and I have this orangey glitter and I'm just popping the cap off of it. Now you may have seen me do this technique for Christmas ornaments, glittered Christmas ornaments last week or last year, but I thought I would do it again. Oops, we don't need that yet. So all I have is some floor wax. It's, I have mop and glow, but it really does not matter. I have some of the floor wax in here, and all I'm going to do, and I did get it on the outside, so I'll have to clean that off, is just make sure I coat the entire inside of the ball with the floor wax. And then you want to pour out any excess. Now once you have it on there, what you need to do is take a funnel and take your glitter and pour it in there. And then you want to shake the glitter around. And now if you're thinking while I'm shaking this, if you're thinking they won't last, here are two of the ornaments that I made last year and the glitter is still in place. So just make sure it's covered everywhere. And then you can pour out any excess glitter. And here it is. This one's actually ready to go. You don't even need to let it dry anymore or anything, but we're going to put it aside and wait for the other one to dry so we can finish everything up at the same time. Now what I'm going to do, I have some contact paper, which is just clear shelf paper, and you could do it with any kind of sticky paper, really. So I have a piece about this big. And what I'm going to do is kind of draw a face on here. And we're talking like a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin kind of face. And then I'm going to take my craft knife and I'm going to cut it out. And here it is. So all I'm going to do is peel off, maybe. the backing and then I'm going to just set it on a cup for me to be able to get a better view of it and then I'm going to press it onto the ornament and I want to make sure the edges of where I cut are down and it could be even scrunched a little bit where you know the smile isn't exactly the way it was that does does not matter at all now I have a stencil brush and a little bit of black acrylic paint and I'm gonna get most of it off and what I'm gonna do is stencil right on here now you can do this with black glass paint which would probably I don't know might work out better but I am doing it this way and then I am going to carefully pull this off and you can see we have this jack-o-lantern so I'll let that dry I'll put it aside and then I'll clean the stencil a little bit and then I will redo it 
on the pumpkin with the paint. So here they are. We've got a couple of pumpkin ornaments and I hope you like them. Hope you give them a try. You can decorate all around the house. You can hang these from lamps or just attach them to a wreath. Just hang them anywhere um, from your curtain rod or something like that. I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Happy crafting and happy Halloween.